today we're going to talk to you about how to use a slate call. And uh, the first thing I want to cover is how to, how to grip it. So you want to grip the call in as few places as possible. So I'll generally grab it by like my middle finger and my thumb and then rest it on the, on the palm of my hand just a little bit. And so uh, that'll provide uh, you as few points as possible. So you want to maximize the amount of sound coming out of the call and as many, wherever you're touching it, you will be deadening the call. Um, the next thing is the grip. <clears throat> now, uh, with the grip of the striker, you want to uh, you want to grip it up. I tend to like to grip it up high, and I grip it in the same spot. And what I do is I grip it basically like a pencil, and then I'm going to rest again the palm of my hand on the call on the edge of the call just lightly. And all that's doing is giving you just a little bit of stability when you're making your calls. I used to not have the palm of my hand on the call, and that's because I didn't want to have another point touching the call, but uh, I found that I'm much more consistent making my calls with my palm on. So after that, we will, let's get into the Yelp. The Yelp is as simple as making an oval shape on the call, and you can practice it, but it gives you your two note, two note Yelp by just simply making an oval. So you're gonna put the pressure on the, on the call, And you can also mess around a little bit with pressure to change tone and things like that. So that's kind of one of the things where uh, if you get more out towards the edge of the call, it'll be higher pitch. If you get down into the middle, it'll be lower pitch. That's all you need to do in order to kill a turkey. So from there, the next call that you've got is a cluck. And the cluck is a very simple call. It's basically saying like, hey, I'm over here, uh, or hey, I am here. And uh, it's, it's simply taking the striker of the call with light pressure and just using this, basically your index finger, you're just gonna push down lightly until it pops. Very easy to do. The last call that you're going to have is the uh, is the purr. Basically, put your striker lightly on the the slate, and then you're just gonna, with very light pressure, pull down and just let the let the striker kind of just pulse on the on the slate. The other call you can do is a cut, and the cut is a uh, very aggressive call. And so, what you're going to do is basically it's like a it's like a um, a cluck, but you're going to have more pressure. You're going to you're going to have a little bit more pressure pushing down on the slate, and but it's the same general principle where you're just going to be popping it down on the slate when you, when you make that cut. So the cut sounds like this. And all you're doing is basically pulling straight down. I tend to actually pull back towards my palm. So I'm actually making a little bit of a, it's not straight down, it's a little bit across. And you can kind of see the line, how it's kind of going across on my striker. As you get better at these calls, you can start putting them together. Like my favorite is the is the uh, the cut and run. So you're going to basically combine the cut with the yelp. So you're going to go. And that's that's a uh, call that's a very excited call that'll get a gobbler worked up. I like to hit them with that early. Try to get them excited and then. Uh, start to uh, work that bird. You can also combine the cluck and the purr. And so the, the, the cluck and the purr is a very content sound that is uh, bur uh, hen feeding. And it sounds like this. And all I'm doing is I'm, I'm purring and at the very end of it, I'm doing the cluck. 
and I'm just adding a little extra pressure to give me that tension and I'm just popping it down. The other thing to note is that you never want to take your striker off the call itself. When you go up, it's not going to make any noise. You're only going to make noise going down. So uh, you're always keeping the striker in contact with the call and that'll help you transition between the calls when you're doing yelps and cuts and, and those types of things. That's all there is to using a slate call. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and check out some more of our videos. Thanks for watching.